Welcome to ELT Gallery channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the interpersonal metafunction of systemic functional grammar. The interpersonal metafunction is the function which expresses the speaker's attitude toward what he is talking about. And commodity here is what the speaker talks about. It's the content of a clause which a speaker produces. Now let's start. Let's start our discussions with sentences which we usually hear at the hotel. We have sentences like, could you spell your last name? What time is the last bus going downtown? Breakfast is ready from 6 to 10. Coffee, please. Do you have the city map? Can you pass me the salt? Here we have sentences, different sentences. In the first two sentences, we have question, and also in the last two sentences, could you spell your last name? Here, the receptionist probably asked the guest to spell his name. So this one, the speaker asked for information. What time is the last bus going downtown? This is a similar sentence. The sentence asks for a piece of information namely the time for the last bus going downtown. Breakfast is ready for 6 to 10. Again, we have a similar kind of sentence. Here in the sentence gives information about the availability of breakfast. Coffee, please. Well, the sentence is different. It's different from the previous three sentences. In the previous three sentences, all the sentences are about information, but now it's not about information anymore. It's about an object. Coffee, please. So here in the speaker, ask for coffee. Probably it's said by a guest to the waiter and he asked for coffee. Do you have the city map? Here we have a question. Do you have the city map? But we can understand that this sentence is more than asking a yes no question. Here, the guest probably asked the receptionist whether the hotel provides city maps. Can you pass me the salt? Again, this is similar to sentence number five. It asks you, Tracy, to do something, to pass the salt. All the sentences here talk about commodity. In the first three sentences, the commodity is information. And in the last three sentences, the commodity is an object. We can have an object as a commodity in a talk. So commodity is what does the addresser say? It can be information, it can be an object, or it can also be a surface. In these examples, we only have information and object. And then here we can also identify what the addresser says expect the audience to do. In an interaction, the addressee and the audience have different roles. While they cannot have the same roles at the same time because there is no interaction if they have the same roles at the same time. We have different roles between addresser and audience. Let's see the roles. The first role is giving. The addressee can give and the audience receives. Or the addressee can demand and then the audience gives what he demands or gives what the addresser demands. What the addresser here can give is first, he can give goods and services. He may also give information. The addressee gives goods and services like in a sentence. I will show you in the way. Here, the addresser wants to give a surface. I will show you in the way he gives surface. Or in this sentence, he says, the house is dirty. Here, the addresser tells the audience that the house is dirty. And then the addresser can also demand goods and surface or demands information. In the sentence, can you clean the house? Here, the addresser demands the audience to clean the house. 
And in the sentence, is this John's house? Here, the addresser demands information about the house. So uh, these are the two rules which the addresser and audience show in an interaction, giving goods and service or giving information or demanding goods and service or demanding information. And when the addressee gives goods and service, that's an offer. When he gives information, he produces a statement. When the addressee demands goods and service, that's a command. And when the addressee demands information, that's asking question. Now let's have more examples with the two kinds of rules and the two kinds of commodity. Can I buy you coffee? This is a giving. This is the rule here is giving. The addressee gives coffee or the addressee here wants to give coffee. This is an offer. I wonder if you have some minutes for me this afternoon. Is this asking for information or is this asking for a service? What kind of commodity do we have in this sentence? On the service, it looks like just asking for a piece of information, whether the audience here, you here have some minutes for the speaker this afternoon. But here it can mean more. Here the address it demands a service that he wants to meet him and he wonders if the audience here can spare some time for him. The final paper is due to next week. Number three here has two meanings. The first, if it is said by a student to, and said to another student, this is only information. But if it is said by a teacher, then it demands good. It demands a paper. The student has to submit that paper next week. The story is too hard for me to understand. Again, I think the sentence may also express a commodity and surface or information. If this is uh, said by two students, probably in this one, and they are of the same level, probably this is just telling that this, book, this story is hard for the speaker or for the addresser. But if it is said by a weaker student to a more clever or cleverer student, then this is probably demanding goods and service. Can you explain the story to me? Do you think this paper is publishable? This sentence asks for the audience opinion whether this paper is publishable or not. This sentence, I think, requires for information or opinion on the audience whether the paper is publishable or not. You can read more references from this site. This sentence can also show a commodity of goods and surface or a commodity of information. If the sentence is said by a student to another student, then it expresses a commodity of information because the student here and the addresser here gives information about references which the audience can find in this site. But if the sentence is said by the teacher, then probably the teacher wants the audience, the student here, to read more references, to complete his paper with more references from this site. We have my pronunciation app is available in Play Store now. While again, this sentence can be both. It can show a commodity of goods and service and a commodity of information. If it is said by a teacher to another teacher or it is said by a, an application developer to another application developer, or to colleagues in the same company, then probably it's just uh, information. But if it is said by a lecturer to a student, a lecturer who develops a pronunciation application, then it can be a demand to the student to buy or to get the, epic, to get the application in Play Store. The last we have, GNC has a midnight sale today. It depends now, again, on the relationship of the addresser on the, and the audience. 
if uh, this said by a wife to her husband, then probably it's a request. Can we go to the sale tonight? But if it is said by two girls, probably it only gives information that if you still like hunting for a midnight sale, then TNC has a midnight sale today. Well, from the examples here, what we can say is that whether a clause expresses a commodity of goods and service or a commodity of information depends on who the addresser is and who the audience is and on their relation. Well, that's all about commodity and the interpersonal metafunction. That's all. Thank you.